All right, we're rolling. Hi, this is Neat from Neat and Kyle. Tonight we are making what I call hot pockets, though I know that's not the right term. Um, we are going to make hobo pockets. Kind of take some foil, take some raw beef and some vegetables and wrap it up in the pocket and put it in the fire over there. First I'm going to spray this. I spray all the foil all the time for whatever I'm making just because you never know when you put it on the grill. I'm running out of spray. There we go. Or we could just put some oil in it. So we're going to start off with these potatoes. These potatoes are like gourmet potatoes. They're purple, red, and golden potatoes. Um, I slice them in half and we're going to put some seasoning on them. Okay, you can, um, I have different seasonings. I have garlic powder, I have some Tuscany, Tuscan market spices, all-purpose powder, and we have salt and pepper. So Kyle, if you want to just put stuff on there, you can. Um, in addition to that, we're going to put some gourmet blend mushrooms. So we have a, a combination of criminy, shiitake, I'm going to leave a little for breakfast. And I'm going to leave a little for breakfast, here. Because we won't eat all of this for dinner anyways. And then we each have a quarter of a onion. Do you want to leave some of that for breakfast too? Well, well, we got other onions, right? Yeah, we do. Okay. We like our onions. That's great. Okay. And the other thing you may notice is we have these recycled jelly and peanut oh. butter jars that we use for storing different types of foods when we go camping. Uh, I like the jars because they form a seal. Do you want this much? Um, sure, that's fine. And um, particularly with the raw meat. Do you want more? Yeah, that's fine. Um, particularly with raw meat, um, it forms a seal and it doesn't leak all over our cooler or our refrigerator when we get into the camper. So, um, recycled jo jelly jars. Now we got the meat part of the um, recipe and I've got the meat pre-cubed and marinating in um, some Italian seasoning. It's been marinating for a couple of days. Uh, we're going to watch and then we'll open the jar. <laughs> Thank you. And she's just going to spoon out a few cubes of beef for her. Oh. Um, I kind of like the Asian concept of cooking with protein, particularly with beef, where it's really just a flavor more than a main ingredient. Yeah. This is good. I don't know how much is in here. <laughs> Yeah, I would say there's, there's one chunk in there that we can cut up for another time. Grow right. for tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot. All right. Okay. And then we're gonna I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod. And we're gonna season it, and then we will wait for the fire to get ready. The fire is going over there. It's gonna take a little bit to burn down to coals because you cannot put this on flame or it will just burn. Um, so we're going to season it up and get it ready. Okay. Cooking grill, so we'll see how it works out. That's the better idea. 
All right. Cool. Okay, so we think they're done, but we're not sure. Oh my God, we can't do it. <laughs> Go ahead. I just want to make sure yours is in. Oh, it's done. It's done. Oh, it's beautiful. done. All right. So, don't know if you can see this. Can't see the lens, but this looks done. All right. So, we're going to test the results. We're going to be honest. <laughs> okay. Looks great. Oh, it's hot! Oh, it's hot! Alright, so... Oh, yeah. Potatoes are a little firm. So oh, maybe we could have microwaved them first. No. Mm -hmm. They're firm. I don't know. They're not quite done. Oh, mushrooms are great. All right, so we've got a piece of beef, mushroom, mm. and oh, a little bit of onion here. So we're going to mm -hmm. check this out. Mm -hmm. That's good. These blue potatoes are good. Yeah, they are firm. They're not quite coming. Mean, potatoes mm -hmm. always take longer to cook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Those are like almost you need to put them in a separate So container. I would say the conclusion is it's good. We need to microwave the potatoes, or if you don't have a microwave, just boil them for about maybe five, no. ten minutes. Put them in the in the fire first with some seasoning, and let them bake a little bit longer. I would not boil them. Well, that's the highbrow approach. Right. So. And then you um, put your beef and your onions in, and your mushrooms <coughs> afterwards, and let them bake less. But if you don't want to suffer third degree burns by trying to take your potatoes out of the fire after they've been in the thousand degree fire you could fire. microwave them or boil them oh boy. Hmm? i think i might have broke a going on these potatoes <laughs> don't worry i have a tool for that i can take care of your fillings all right all right this is me and kyle saying cut I didn't say cut. I was going to say bon appetit. Bon appetit. She's going to cut. And cut. Do you uh, even know how to stop the camera? Nope. Nope. The red button. The red button. Do any.